Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And I'm freaking excited. <laughs> okay, this is Black and Voodoo by Dixie. Now, you know, if you watch some of my episodes, I always say how sometimes beer is that thing that brings you back. You know, it's what happened when you were doing it. Um, when years ago, when I was waiting tables and bartending and everything, I found this beer. And then it said it was a New Orleans style black and lager. Unfortunately, when I've looked on here, it doesn't say that anywhere. But in my heart, it's always going to be that. And at the time, like, this was this weird beer that I found. It was before I was really, really into beer, when I just enjoyed drinking beer. And so this is an important beer in my beer journey. So I had made mention about this beer, and I really liked it. And a buddy of mine, Tony, thank you so much, said, hey, I'm pretty sure I can get you that beer. And he did. So now I have it. Okay, so now that all that's out of the way, let's not act like I've never had this. I haven't, though. It is a 5.5% alcohol beer. I'll be the newbie for you. Um, I can go ahead and warn you, it's already going to get a little bit higher marked for me because of, like I said, all of its history with me. It wear a poor little good head. Okay, it is dark, mm -hmm. but it's not black. Now, it says something on here, which it didn't, I don't remember it saying this, at least this eloquently on the bottles that I used to drink. It said this dark lager balances premium roasted barley malts with Mount Hood and Cascade hops, which are two hops I really dig, resulting in a rich, mysterious brew with a bewitching character and magical spirits. Now, it does say on the can that it's a lager. The new can art is awesome. I do like her hands. Now, I want to see her face when she smells this. Mm, it smells dark. Mm, it's good. Go ahead. <laughs> you like? I like that very much. All right, mm. now my turn. I've been waiting. Mm. That is as good as I remember. Mm. It is everything you expect a dark beer to be. It's multi. Um, There's a little hops, not, but, but it's not. It's not IPA hops. No, not even close. It's, it's yummy beer hops. You have more of a malty aftertaste than you do. Much more. Than you do hops, which I like. Caramelly. Yes. It's, oh, it's, yes. It's roasted, mm. but it's not, I don't mean to be rude, but some of these they'll say roasted, and I'm like, mm. you misspelled burnt. Yes. Um, this isn't. No. Like, this is not. Um, there's a lot of caramel. Yes. There's. Yes. I've heard someone say they tasted coffee, and I think when people taste roasted, they just say coffee, coffee. and that's, yeah. I think that's a, not really a mistake, it's just An when assumption. someone doesn't know how to describe it quite right, mm -hmm. and I would say there's more people that drink dark coffee than drink dark beer, yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, now, I do taste some light vanilla notes in there. There's much more caramel. Mm -hmm. mm. I do get a little vanilla. But to be as a smooth as it is, it has a crisp finish. It does. Um, it doesn't finish heavy. Mm -mm. It coats your mouth very well. You have almost a, a little bit of a sweet caramel yes. vanilla flavor that sticks to you. Um, the aftertaste is fantastic. It is. Now, okay, um, I used to work at a restaurant in Daytona Beach, and, you know, after I'd get off work, a lot of times, hey, I got half price on dinner at this nice restaurant, so I would eat before I go home if I got off early. Mm -hmm. And we used to have this Cajun chicken pasta that I got a lot because it was 
freaking fantastic. And I'd get one of these and it, it balanced the super rich out of a, an alf, a blackened Alfredo pasta and the, it mellowed the spice, but it, it could stand up to it. This is a great beer. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know how they managed to make it as light as it is, but yeah. as full as it yeah. is. Yeah. It's fantastic. I like it a lot. It's fantastic. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost out. I was prepared. I knew what was going to happen. I knew I was going to need more of this. <sighs> and I thought you might need more. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Yes. This beer is utterly fantastic. Um... Yeah, let's have some more. I'm gonna give you a nice little mm -hmm. head there. Um, so you can get a good smell. Yeah. I mean, mm. I'm not paid by Dixie. If Dixie wanted to like send me jazz and a couple of those other beers that they have, I would be happy to review them. Uh, be honest, you, I, this is the best one I've ever had of theirs. Wow. This is my favorite. I like, I like it a lot. Mm. This is good with food, but you can also just drink it. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, chilling with your friends. Also, here's the weird thing. A lot of people think dark beers are for winter. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't really think that's true. I, like I know, mean, it might be traditional, but here's the thing. You can drink this in the dead middle of summer. I was in Daytona Beach. Yeah. It'd be like pff, sweat hot. And this still works. Oh, yeah. I like dark beers all year because I'm I'm a dark beer fan. Yeah. So I mean, give me a stout, a porter, or, yeah, whatever, whenever. So now, now you're a fan of the black and lager, huh? I, I <laughs> like this a lot. The one thing that I have that the faster you drink it, the more, the more of the um, roasted taste you get. Mm -hmm. I try to sip this, but it sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. If you're taking a drink after a drink, you get way you get more that roasted. Before this, I'd only had it in a bottle. Now I've had it in a can. I kind of like it better in a can. But I went with some buddies to New Orleans. I've only ever been once. And we went in a place, the Agni Oyster House. And they had it on draft. And I got it on draft. And it was like two thumbs up. I like most of them. I do. But, you know. You can't uh, always have it on draft. Right. <laughs> but, okay. So now I've finished fawning over this beer. <laughs> um, let's let's get down into the ratings. Um, but before I do the ratings, I try to do this three times a week, unless there's some major holiday or something crazy like that. So if you're enjoying this, give me a like, you know, thumbs up, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. You ought to subscribe if you're into the beer, because uh, we got some new stuff coming, and I'm working on bigger and better things. Maybe you've even noticed that I've upgraded my videography set. Uh, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better. Also, if you have any uh, requests, I'll try to get those. I've had a couple that I've been Put trying in the to. Comments. Yeah. So let's see what we can do. Did you dig it? Yes. God, I love this beer. <laughs> Would you have another? And thanks, Tony. I have more after these. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Um, does it have seek ability? Uh -huh. I actually do seek this this particular beer out as often as possible. Um, how many would you put in a pick six? If you've never had it and you're a little on the fence, definitely grab one. But if you're a fan of a darker beer, just, do just it. get a six pack. They're not even yeah. they're they're not out of like huge price range yeah um it's sometimes i've gotten these cheaper than other craft beers you know if you're getting a six packs they're usually in the seven to nine dollar range um now i guess we just go you get that go first 110 one pint's the lowest 10 pints is the highest oh the struggle is real oh what if i've said it it's a nine okay I completely agree. But for me, this beer is a 10 because wow. the beer is a 9 and oh. my memories make it a 10. Uh -huh. It is. 
and it's super hard to get the nines and tens. I mean, you'll see that there's some of my beers mm -hmm. that I reviewed that I gave high marks, but part of that's because I had beers that I really, really liked that I was reviewing. Uh, you'll look, there's some beers that I review that I give really, really low marks because mm -hmm. they're garbage. Um, this, not garbage. This, not garbage. delicious. No, yeah, this is really good. That's really good. I like it. Well, there you have it. I'm done with my love letter to Dixie Black and Voodoo. <laughs> uh, join me again. I don't know. I want to finish this beer. Until your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers. We'll finish the second beer, so. <laughs>